Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to run DeepSeek locally in Windows Command Prompt. But before that, let's take a look at the DeepSeek and all the hype about it. DeepSeek, the latest in generative AI, is making waves with its advanced reasoning and problem solving capabilities. With global AI adoption accelerating, DeepSeek emerges as a powerful contender, seemingly outpacing its rivals in efficiency and depth. Built on cutting-edge architecture, it excels in complex reasoning, coding, and multilingual understanding. AI is the new genius and DeepSeek is pushing its boundaries further with unmatched performance. Its ability to handle intricate prompts with precision makes it a game-changer. Unlike traditional models, DeepSeek leverages superior contextual awareness for human-like responses. Its efficiency in real-world applications refines productivity and automation. Businesses and developers are rapidly integrating it for high-level decision-making. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icons to get notified. Also, just that you know, if you want to upskill yourself, master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills, and land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT Kanpur, IIT Guwahati, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not only you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies and also academicans from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a generative AI program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Now, before we get started, we need to check the space first. Let me explore the file explorer once. So you can see the downloads is almost full. Now we have another volume D, which has a little bit of space. Let's use that. Now let's change the location of downloads to drive D. For that, go to downloads, open properties, and here go to location. Maybe if you want to create a new file, that's also okay. Let's try that. So here, let's create a file and I'll name this as temporary downloads. Maybe you can also use underscore to avoid confusion. And this might ask for some permissions, like let's say you already downloaded an application or something like that, and you set environment for that, right? So let's uh, see, that's the one. So automatically the computer will change all the environment variables for you, just in case if you have any other applications running from downloads directly. Meanwhile, while this particular files are copying, let's wait for a moment. Let's minimize everything and open a new tab on Google. So to run DeepSeek locally, we might want to use a few things. Firstly, Olama. So let's download Olama. Go to the Olama thing in the third link. That's the one we need. Now we need to download Olama into our local system. For that, let's explore the models. So this is the first one, the first link, this is the one we are looking for. So before downloading that, let's enable Olama. For that, we need to download and install Olama, download for Windows. So the downloading and installation might take a little bit of time, don't worry about it. And we have started the download. Now we will explore the deep seek before, uh, you know, all this download thing settles down. Let's explore a little bit about the deep seek models. So here you can see, we have 7B, 1.5B, 8B, 14B, and let's also view all. So the B stands for billion parameters. So DeepSeek has a lot of modules based on the learning uh, parameters, right? A couple of them have 8 billion. 671 is the highest, I guess, 400 GB. And uh, because of space constraints, we will go with the first one, which is 1.5 billion parameters. One, you can choose the model based on your space in your computer. So I'll go with the 1.5 B1. So just click there and you'll get all the drop down options. 
go with the one we want. And for that, just copy that code there. Olama run deep seek hyphen r1 double colon 1.5b, right? That's the one. And let's open the command prompt. Okay, before that, we need to install Olama first. So the file has been downloaded successfully. Navigate to the downloads location. Start the setup. It might take a couple of time. Once the setup is completely done, then we will open the command prompt. And then copy paste that particular code. Then everything will be automatically downloaded and loaded for you. So DeepSeek will be ready to run locally on your CMD. So what's the benefit of running DeepSeek locally? Basically, when you want to communicate with your generative AI, you might want the internet connection with you. If you are able to download and set the generative AI, in our case, DeepSeek, in your computer, then it is beneficial for you so that it can run without the internet connection. It might take a little time, don't worry. Once the setup is done, look at the bottom right corner. You'll get a slight notification, a smaller notification which says Olama is set up and running. Similar to that, you can just get Olama is running now, something like that. Just a couple of moments while the final settings are done. There you go. The setup is done. Close it. Now check the tray there. Should be having an Olama logo present right there. There you go. That's the notification we were looking for. Olama is running. Now to check, you can also check the logs of uh, Olama which are presently in your computer just for cross verification. Also, make sure that to copy that Olama run DeepSeek R1 code there to run it on your command prompt. Just press Windows icon with R to have the run command and you can type CMD to execute the command prompt. There you go. Now make sure to copy that code. Once the Windows command prompt is active, you just have to paste it and hit enter. Command prompt is loading. It might take a little glitch. Let's wait until it shows up. Let's try again. CMD hit OK. Let's wait for a moment while the command prompt pops in. Let's check if there are any other uh, activities. There you go. We have multiple prompts. Let's close all the other ones which we don't need. I think it's still loading. Let's close this as well. Let's give it a retry. CMD OK. And let's wait. So here is the log file which uh, we were looking at earlier. Let's close the log file which we don't need it. Yeah. The command prompt is active, paste, enter. Now you should be getting something called manifesting. So that means the package is getting downloaded, pulling manifest. There you go. So based on the model that we chose, which is 1.5 billion parameters, it's typically a smaller version of the deep seek that we were looking at. The biggest one was 675 billion parameters, which is close to 400 GB. If you have enough space in your PC, then you can go with the highest version. So uh, due to space constraints, I'm going with the smaller one. The procedure is same. You just have to paste the code and run. So at the last where you have 1.5 B, right? In place of that, you'll be having 675 B. That's the only difference. It might take a little bit of time to download based on the package you're using. If you're going with the higher package, a bigger package, then the download time might even end up more than 24 hours. And if you don't have enough space, it might collapse in between. So I, I'd recommend select the one which suits with your memory space. Now the files are downloading. It might take a little time. Let's wait for that. The first one is downloaded, second, third. So I think it's downloading in terms of packages. So we have the fifth package. Verifying, there you go, successfully downloaded. Now, we can type in a message. Let's say, uh, let's type hi DeepSeek or hello DeepSeek to verify. So, hi DeepSeek. So you can see when you open the prompt, you'll have that thinking mode, right? You can see it is also thinking. Now let me type my request here. So it also said as, hello, how can I assist you? So my request is, I wish to learn neural networks. So you can see that uh, when you open DeepSeek on Windows browser or Google browser, or Firefox, any of the browsers, it will show you the thinking process, right? Here also you can see that thinking process, start of thinking and end of thing. The only thing is unable to display the 
thought process over here, but fine. Now let's continue with the command prompt, which is I wish to learn neural networks and hit enter. Now let's say it will help you to learn neural networks in a stage by stage process in the learning order. What exactly is neural networks? What are the key components of neural networks, neurons, activation, weights, and biases, and everything, right? Similar to ChatGPT or even other competitors in terms of generative AI. And it is also giving you procedures and sample codes here, right? If you wanted to execute these codes on uh, Jupyter Notebook, then you can just import NumPy as NP from TensorFlow, etc. And also you have some sample codes for generating a model, how to execute that, everything. So I guess that's the end of the line for the prompt. Now, this was the trial run on how to run DeepSeek locally on your Windows command prompt. Now, you can also develop a completely new user interface and experience for your DeepSeek to run on locally. So far, so good. For the sample purpose, this is good. Now, let's type in by and see how it responds to the text. There you go. It might be confused, but it might give you an alternate approach. Yeah. So it looks like your message got cut off. Okay, could you clarify? And that calls to an end of this tutorial on how to run DeepSeek locally on your Windows command prompt. And that calls for an end of this tutorial on how to run DeepSeek locally. Should you have any queries or if you require any of the assistance on this particular tutorial, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And if you are looking for any of the resources like the links of Olama, the command prompts for running DeepSeek locally, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.